Hello, 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 and welcome to this episode of the Rent to Rent Success podcast. And today's episode is epic. We have got Kylie Anderson with us of Iconic Wealth for Women, and her mission is to help a million women create more income, impact, and influence and grow their wealth and legacy, which I absolutely love that idea, as you can imagine. But Kylie is also, and how I first knew Kylie, is as an online business strategist and award-winning coach. And Kylie helps people to take their ideas, their, the information, the knowledge that they know, and create online programs that really help people fly. And also to create more, um, more income and more freedom, which is what we all want too. And Kylie's passionate about empowering women to be financially independent and she loves to travel and has been to over 45 countries <laughs> so far. So welcome to the show Kylie Anderson. Thank you, it's lovely to be here, thanks so much. Well it is a thrill for me as well and we were just saying uh, before we started recording that we met at a networking event, it was the London Women's in Property and Business was it called? Yeah it was, with, yeah. With Elsie in London, it was one of the earliest times that I had spoken to a group I was a bit nervous about it and um, we met there and then later on when I had the idea because you we talked to that event and I knew what you did um, in terms of helping people do their online courses and when I had the idea about doing a course for rent to rent I immediately thought of you <laughs> and I was very nervous about in inverted commas, making this big investment, which now does not seem so big at all in, no. in mentoring to do that, because there's a mentoring element, obviously, and a coaching element. So I understand when people come to me and they're very nervous about joining. But one of the things that I learned, because I had written out the outline for the course and um, I hadn't done anything with it for months. And then I joined you and invested in your mentorship. And I had everything done within, I think it was, was it even two months or something like that? Yeah, it was. We got through yours really quick. <laughs> yeah, normally under 12 weeks, I say. But yeah, yeah, it was about two months. I think we were just about live with yours. Mm. Yeah. So I'm. that's what made me a true advocate for, for mentorship. But Kylie, you've got, you've got many strings to your bow. Uh, <laughs> you help people put their knowledge online and to increase their money and freedom that way. You also have iconic wealth for women. But before we go into what those are and how they can help people, man or woman, actually, I know we'll get something out of this episode. I'd love to know a bit more about your story, Kylie, and how you got um, it started on this road. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, so I can't, I can't believe it's been that, that many years. I was just thinking how many years ago was it met? Um, but I love that, yeah, relationships are the most important thing along your journey, for sure. Um, so I think for me, um, I came across to London when I decided I wanted to travel. So I had a um, pregnancy scare as such when I left Australia. And um, when I found out I wasn't, I was like, okay, I need to change life. I want to go and do something exciting. So I went and started traveling. But of course, that meant I had the travel bug. And as you know, 45 different destinations. But somehow you have to pay for that. Um, so I got into the corporate space and I worked my way up in sales. So I've been in corporate sales for over 15 years and um, doing millions of dollars of deals. So it was either in property doing deals or in um, high level headhunting and recruitment. So I kind of had this sales background um, and but I was tired of working like most people in corporate space and sales know that it's not a 20 hour job. It's a 60 hour job a week. And I got to the stage where I was tired of building someone else's business, but I had no idea what I wanted to do. And um, it was actually my boss come in bragging about his travel card. That was my turning point. I was like, I don't want to be you in 10 years time. I'm out of here. Um, so I actually went to the National Achievers Congress. That was the thing that kind of woke me up and went, oh, there's this whole world out here. There's property and online businesses and this stuff that I just had been heads down working and, and hadn't really thought about what I actually really wanted. Um, and so going to the conference was my turning point. And then I got into the online marketing space. Um, I started that while I was at work. And um, then it led me to go, I love the online network. I love the online, um, I guess, capacity of online, what you can do with it. But I didn't really like the internet marketing a bit. I was a bit like, it's a little bit too get rich quickie for me, the stuff that I was involved in. 
So then I started to look at, okay, how can I apply what I was learning back into businesses, which is what I really loved. I love small business. I loved helping people grow and scale. And so that's how I got started, basically creating courses and programs because I was selling other people's products and programs online. And then I just seemed to have a knack to go, well, look, you've got all this knowledge and skills. How can we package it up and how can we go online? Um, so that's how I got started in my actual business. Um, and actually part of that was what triggered the kind of desire for Iconic Wealth. So over the time, over the last five or six years working and doing what I've been doing, you know, I've watched women struggle that have got incredible knowledge and skills going, you're nearly broken, you shouldn't be. Um, I've watched people that have made incredible money, like in a very short space of time, and then go, okay, where are you investing that? What are you actually doing with it to make mm -hmm. a difference? Um, and it was actually starting with um, a financial planner. I helped create her first coaching program was I realised the statistics. The statistics in the UK were horrific for long-term wealth. So like one in five women are going to be in poverty in retirement. They don't wow. plan for retirement. Um, you know, what is it, 40% women, less women invest. So we don't invest money. So we don't make it work harder for us. Mm -hmm. um, and we're always kind of, you know, chasing that kind of paycheck to paycheck still. Um, and then, so I've been sitting on the idea, a bit like you had been sitting on the idea for a while. <laughs> um, and it was after working with her, I was like, okay, I have to stop playing small. I've got to get my message out there. And, and that's how Iconic Wealth for Women has started. And it's such an incredible platform. I'm part of it. But what I love about it is exactly what you said. It's not just the ideas. It's also the, the help with implement, implementing them. Because when you do start making money, you have to look at how to um, how to pass it on. Um, because tax just will eat everything unless you become savvy. Yes. And, um, I'm trying yeah. to get a couple of tax specialists to join us at the moment. But, um, yeah, they're pretty private lot. <laughs> um, yeah, they don't like to get out there and give away free information because they're like, oh, it's too personalised. So... Um, I'm actually trying to get a couple of tax specialists on a panel at the moment to talk about, yeah, some growth stuff for next year. So, um, yeah, they're an interesting um, specialist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so, absolutely. But so, so important to, yes, very. to us all, even if you're not an investor, but you have your own home, which you want to pass on to your children. There are different ways of owning your, your property. Anyway, um, it, it's so fascinating, and it's a topic I never thought I'd be fascinated in. But it's, <laughs> yeah, it's Jim lovely. sad, Steph. You need to get out. <laughs> it's lovely to have these different kinds of problems, from problems before not having enough money to problems of how do you pass on your money, how do you pass on your inheritance, and definitely something that we, we all need to look at. Yeah. So... That was what motivated you to get started. Mm -hmm. And in, on the wealth building side, you've talked to a little bit about why we need this, because many women are not saving or investing or growing their money in other ways. And I was just going to ask you, what are the biggest mistakes that you see women making? Yeah, I think it's important because I think that I think there's there's one thing I think we live in a society of overnight gratification. So in anything that we do, whether it's businesses, whether it's investing, whether it's creating money, um, everyone seems to want it like yesterday. And so we're not we're we're so stuck in short termism. We're not thinking long term. So and I see that a lot with this. Like people are so focused on cash flow. Um, and raising more money, they're not thinking about, okay, am I taking a small amount and investing it, you know, for my long-term kind of challenges. So I think that's one of the first things, and that's in society as a whole. You know, everyone doesn't really want to put the hard work in to build a business. They want it yesterday, you know, want to make six figures yesterday. So I think that's one of the big issues. But I think from a, especially from a female perspective, when it comes to growing wealth, there's some really big things. So I think that you nailed it the other night on our um, property panel we did. We did a great property panel with Steph and a couple of other wonderful ladies on there. And you nailed it where a lot of us think it's for other people. You know, it's for other wealthy people. It's only for the wealthy. It's not for me. And I've quoted you twice since and already around um, that saying because that just hit home. That is what Iconic Wealth was about is 
um, just sharing the concept that actually wealth isn't about people with just money. You can start to change your story or start to create wealth with small amounts of money, whether it's small amounts to money invest in stocks, whether it's a small amount of money to potentially get your first property, you know, whether it's a small amount of money to start an online business, you can start all of these with relatively low startup costs to then grow your revenue to actually build out your long term wealth. So I think that's the first thing is we sit there and think it's for other people and not for us. So we have a block within ourselves quite often that, oh, we can't we can't be that savvy. Yes. And it's a shame. And most of the time it's it's sad. It's more just around education. It's the fear of it. It's the fear of wealth. It's even that word. So I had actually people say to me, do you want to call your platform Iconic Wealth? Because the word wealth triggers a lot of um blocks and, and limiting beliefs for women it was it was really interesting and I stuck with it because I was like no that's what I want to be known for and that's what it's all about but it was really interesting even the feedback around the word wealth like what does it really mean to them um you know what what's the angle in relation to um is it for me like I've had to people that I expected to for example join the network when I very first opened the network say to me oh I don't think I'm there yet you know, and it, so again, wealth is a very much a connotation that it's either down the track somewhere or it's for other people. And I think that's the biggest thing for me. And that's why I want to start these conversations because wealth isn't, it's just a part of your journey yes. and you can be building it as you go now, but also it's accessible to everyone. Like yes. you're an epic story around that. <laughs> You know, your story alone is around, you know, that it wasn't just for other people, that you can come from wherever you are today and make what you want of it. Mm. Absolutely. And there are so many stories everywhere we look. And a shout out to Wendy Whittaker-Large and Louise Reynolds, yes. who were on your event with me. And it was amazing to see them and to reconnect, you know, with Wendy and Louise. And um, I hope they'll be joining on the podcast soon. But um what you say is so true that people think it's for other people or that they haven't arrived yet so they can't join. However, now is absolutely the time to join because one of the things that I love about wealth is if you take certain actions, it's almost inevitable. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I'm going to be quoting you again, aren't I? <laughs> if you take certain action, it's inevitable. I love it. <laughs> yeah, the reason being that um, I just want to give a quick example. My son, Alex, um, has many decades ahead of him before retirement. And so one of the things that we've learned, part of being involved in networks like yours, Kylie, is that compound interest. We know abstractly the magic of compound interest. But listeners, viewers, <laughs> go and actually get a compound interest calculator. And look at what happens if you save 500 pounds for 20 years, 30 years, the interest is more than the money you put in there, mm. in the stock market, in funds. And it's so easy to do with a stocks and shares ISA. Yep. Now, my son is doing that, uh, not 500 pounds. He started off saving more, but he's saving less now because he just, um, he, he bought his same property over the lockdown period. Okay. I know, and he's, he doesn't have quite as much to say because his mortgage is a bit more. Um, mm -hmm. Previously, he was, anyway, cut a long story. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, if he continues with that one simple action, he will be uh, a millionaire before he retires. And then if he takes other actions from that to make his money make more money, such as buys more properties or starts a rent to rent business or starts an online business, like what you're saying, Kylie, rents out a room in his home. All of these are adding more income that he can then put into investment because his living costs are already met. And all of these ways mean he can then pass on not only the money, but he can pass on the knowledge to his uh, family when if if or when he has a family and that is one of the gems so if you feel you're listening to this and you think this is not for me yet exactly what Kylie says uh, Kylie's friend said I'm not there yet 
now is the time to start. Now, Kylie, I must let's tell people where is this group? What is this group called? Etc. <laughs> yeah, it's in called, this group. Yeah, it's very straightforward. It's called Iconic Wealth for Women. Um, so there's a great community, like I said, and there's the um because it is my passion project and it is the thing that I want to shift in people's lives, there's two opportunities to get involved and there is a free opportunity so you can get surrounded by these incredible women um, and there's a paid opportunity so you can add, you know, you can receive the extra value. Um, but I think it's really important to do that. I think there's a couple of things that come up from what you've just said there is um, also don't be scared if you're not at um, that young age because I love that yes. you're teaching him that and I love that he's yeah. doing it. Um, but I also thrive on some of the stories where, you know, I met a lady the other night who's 47 and she basically turned her financial journey around in three years. Yes. Um, I know another lady, one of my favourites I love to follow is um, Anne Wilson of The Wealth Chef. And she started from scratch again. I think it was at 48 or 50. Mm -hmm. She started from complete scratch. Mm -hmm. And now she's completely financially free in five years, I think it was. She got financially mm -hmm. free again. And I think that's the key for me is that no matter where you are on the journey, there's a strategy to help you get to where you want to go. But what you need to do is get around incredible women that are, that can share that with you. And I think that's the thing. So for me, Iconic Wealth is about sparking some of these ideas and sparking the conversation around it. Because once you start to get around it and realise, and that's what I did at the Iconic Wealth when I went to the National Achievers, I was like, oh, there's this whole world out here I didn't know about. And that, for me, is what Iconic Wealth is about. It's about sparking some of these conversations. It's about looking at opportunities that maybe you'd shied away from or not even considered yet. So, you know, I didn't know anything about rent to rent until I got to know Steph and got into the property space. And I was like, well, wow, this is a pretty cool strategy for people that don't have much money. They can get started. Um, you know, and you can replace your income relatively quickly. So again, it's it's knowing where to find it. And I think that's the thing. I'm very lucky. I've created a very trusted support network. And I think trust is a big thing. A lot of people mm -hmm. shy away from investing, shy away from doing things because it, it can be a bit risky. There are risks involved. Of course, mm -hmm. investing in anything, there's a risk involved. That can be going to your job, by the way, as well. There are risks involved. But um, again, if you're around a supportive network that have, you know, track records, have communities, have visibility, then you know you're in a trusted, supported environment as well. Um, and that's, yeah, that's the key for me around this for sure. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Thanks, Kylie. And I urge you the Iconic Wealth for Women Facebook group. Now, we have got a link um, underneath this video or if you're listening on the podcast, it'll be in the show notes at rent to rent success.com slash 161 and um in there you'll see the link and that link will give you the option to go to the free community on facebook or to go to the paid community it's 19.99 a month as kylie says phenomenal value yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think yes. now we're we're at the end of the year whenever you're listening but certainly now at the end of the year, going into 2023, new goals, new um, new possibilities. And one of them definitely should be to connect with the right people. And um, the, the, the community is, is an amazing place to be able to do that. Yeah. And I love it because I think, again, like for me, the, the it's the nice mix of what we've involved in there. You know, we've got people around property. We've got people around trading. We've got people around money mindset. You know, we could spend all day talking about money mindset and how it holds so many women back. Um, you know, there's people in there around online businesses like myself. Um, you know, there's building communities like building your profile because obviously building your profile helps you build long term wealth as well. So how do you build your personal brand, things like that. So it covers a nice array of what it takes to build long term success, I think, long term wealth for me. Yeah. yeah. And just going back to something else you said, Kylie, mm -hmm. for whatever age. Now, we started in our mid 40s and you know just turned over 50 six years ago and in six years everything's changed we've got mm -hmm. you know this multi-million pound portfolio we've got a number of different businesses all with uh, you know VAT plus revenue and you know moving towards the seven figure mark and um that's all within six years and it all started off from the point of where you said 
that's not for me, business. I don't think I could do business. I don't think I could invest in property. I don't know about how to invest in stocks and shares, etc. Didn't seem like my world. So for anyone who's listening, who's thinking either I'm too young, I'm too old, I, I don't have this information, I'm not this kind of person, you can become this kind of person. Mm. Uh, and it's not that hard. Once you get, once you open the door and see inside the room, you're like, oh, is this, is this, yeah. is this it? Okay. You know, you <laughs> So Kylie, um, what do you think are the secrets to success in terms of if somebody wants to come in and really do this mm-hmm. um, in, in, in a shortish period of time, what are the secrets to success? Yeah, so I think there's a couple of things. I think one is, um, you know, just acknowledge where you are and be okay with that. I think that's always the first mm-hmm. one for me is, you know, there's no shame around where you are. There's no judgment of where you are at the moment it's just acknowledge where you are so I always say to people do a little audit first of where you are you know and that's things like you know what sort of income have you got coming in what's your expenses you know what sort of assets have you already accumulated if any um, what sort of liabilities have you got so basically do a little audit so you've got something to work from you know I say to people you can't go anywhere if you don't know where you are and where you want to get to Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that's the first one is is it's okay no matter where you are the second one for me is create a bit of a vision. Like um, I love to dream big. You know, I like to get people creating visions for themselves. So, again, a lot of people, especially women, when I ask them, what do you want? They don't know. It's the hardest question for a lot of women to ask. answer is what do you actually want? Um, so I get them to ideally start to create that. And so one of the things I like to do is just go, look, if we were sitting down in five years' time having a conversation exactly like this, say we were back on Steph's podcast, um, five years' time, what would that look like? What would you be proud of? What would have changed? You know, what do you want in your life that you've enjoyed over the time? And really start to, you know, develop that vision because we all know that successful people have a vision. Um, you know, whether that's to run 100 miles in 10 seconds or whether it's to, you know, shoot the winning goal on a basketball court, whatever, they all have a vision and they work towards it. So I think for me that's the that's the second biggest one is that women don't necessarily, and especially women, guys don't do this as well, but I find especially women, they have trouble answering the question, what do I want? And get a little bit selfish, ladies. Like it's okay to want some stuff for yourself, not just for your family or your husband or your kids. It's like, what do you want? What would you, what would excite you in five years' time? So I think that's the second one is create a bit of a vision. So then you've got a bit of a roadmap to go, well, I'm here and I want to get to here. So now how can I fill that gap? Then for me, it's about getting the education and support because then it's like you can fill that gap, but you can't fill it if maybe you don't quite know how to yet. And that's okay as well. So it's finding then a strategy that might work for you. And that's why, again, Iconic Wealth was built, is like come in and explore some of the things that you might be able to do to create that additional wealth that you want down the track. Because then once you've chosen your path and the process, then it's about educating yourself to actually be able to make it happen. Um, So getting around then the right support, getting the coaches in place, Um, ideally going with someone that's trod that path before or knows how to do what you want to do because then you've got a trusted advisor that can help you get there but I think if you don't have the 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 starting point and at least some sort of vision it might not be your big goal it might not be an end vision but it's something to get you started like you know do you just want your house paid off I don't know like what's your vision in relation to creating that life and then the last step is look at what's going to hold you back because that's when the the money mindset issues come up. Um, lack of resources is another big one I hear. Um, it could be what will the family think. So then it's like starting to explore what could hold you back actually achieving your dreams. Um, and then once you've got that down, you've got a bit of a process to work from. That's, that's the I think, the big things for me to get started with um, if I was wanting to create that success. Oh, I love that. Um, be okay where you are and obviously assess. So that's You'll need to do some assessment of where you are. Um, have a vision for your future or create a vision for your future. At the beginning, it might not be fully fledged. Get the right knowledge uh, so that you can move forward and decide what might be right for you and just spend a bit of time looking at what the options are. And then look at 
look at what will hold you back so that you can push yourself forward. And again, I just want to say, if this is resonating with you and you think, yes, this is, I definitely need to do this, um, <laughs> then do uh, find Kylie's group on Facebook, the Iconic Wealth for Women, or click the link in the show notes, in the podcast notes, underneath the video that you're watching now. And um, you'll be able to go there and join the group and um, or the paid group, which is the one that I I totally recommend. Yes. Yeah, because that gives you all the back access to all the videos and all the recordings. Um, we've got live events coming up over the next year, so you'll get priority yeah. access into those. So there's okay. loads of added benefits in relation to that that small investment for each month. Um, but it does mean that, yeah, most of the replays only stay up for about 24 hours. So if you can't join them live, you get access to them in all the recordings. So you can go in and tune in when you want to and, and watch the replays. Yeah. We we'll waste so much money, Kylie, and then we'll be like, oh, 19.99. I'm not sure. But yeah. those are the type of investments that we should be making because we're that's we're investing in our minds. There's no more powerful investment. We're investing yeah. in our future. We're investing in our vision. I always like to say, well, it's Dan Sullivan's um <laughs> A line is your future is your property so the future that you arrive at in five years time will be what you create today and because your future is your property you need to be building on that land mm. so <laughs> and, also, and you're right there as well because you know that's why I made it cheap so the the goal of it as well one of the goals and the pain points I saw and I'm sure you've probably done this somewhere along the line is where I've invested for the wrong things you know, I've spent mm. a load of money on something that actually was never going to suit me in the first place. Mm. It wasn't really my cup of tea. And I didn't really have the time or the resources at the time to make the most of it. So, again, my goal is to potentially help you stop making that first big investment is actually just start to think about first, you know, you know, like for me, I spent so much money on property training at the time, but I was working a 60 hour sales job. It was a completely the wrong strategy for me. So if I'd known different strategies by now, or at least explored it a bit first, I wouldn't have gone into that mastermind I went into. It cost me mm. nearly 10 grand. Mm. Um, and so that could have been two properties, <laughs> as I know, with mm. now rent to rent. But mm. again, it, it's it's assessing yourself first. Because again, when I looked at it, I was in a high flying job. I was paid well. And actually, it was completely the wrong strategy for the resources and the time I had available. So that, again, for me, is at least with Iconic Wealth, you can come in, you can start to explore some of the strategies, start to explore some of the things that might work for you, and then go, okay, now where's the best place for me to invest with the right people that are then going to actually help me get to where I want to go? So, again, I've seen so many people invest money in courses and coaching and, um, you know, property training and, and so much other things that just haven't really suited where they were at. You know, I met a, a guy a couple of weeks ago who had done a, a whole particular course training and he was a builder. And I was like, well, why aren't you doing, you know, refurbs in that? You're a builder. You've got a building team. Like, why haven't you partnered up with someone to do refurbs? And again, he'd gone down the completely wrong property route with what he had available, the resources he had, the, the track record. He could have sped up his journey if he'd got around the right people. And so that's, for me, some of the things that we want to discuss. And that's why we have panel discussions, you know, so you can get a feel for the different types of strategies, the different types of businesses that have been created, why they're being created, so that you can then start to explore to go, oh, actually, that one might work for me. That's where I'm at in my journey. Um, so hopefully it should save you a lot of money. The 19 should be laughing later. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just like, Kylie, you just need to see that somebody's done it. Yeah. Because I remember, well, I was going to say two things. One was that, yes, I totally agree with you, people getting the wrong training. I mm. actually had a conversation with a woman on the phone. And honest to goodness, I nearly fell off my chair. Lovely <laughs> woman. She was a student. Mm. So I was thinking in my mind, I don't think mentorship's right for her. I don't think she would be able to afford it right now. Anyway, the conversation went on. It turned out that she and her friend had been to one of these so many day training events where they say run to the back and buy this yeah. mentorship. Now the mentorship, Kylie, was £28,000, right? So this person was very interested in uh, rent to rent because she actually didn't have a lot of money. 
where she was finding this money from to pay for the course, I do not know. Anyway, she and her friend had jointly were paying half each of whatever the monthly amount was, which the, even the monthly amount was was a lot, but she was paying yeah, but... £28,000. And do you know what she wanted? She wanted to learn rent to rent. And the only thing that was not available in this thing that she had, this mentorship, was mm-hmm. rent to rent. And she'd asked mm-hmm. when the rent to rent element would be coming available. And they said they didn't know. And I'm, I was just absolutely gobsmacked yeah. because, as you said, Kylie, people investing so much money mm. into something which doesn't actually serve the need that they have or the no. desire that they have or the want that they have. So, yeah. Yeah. And that's the goal of this <laughs> is you have incredible people like Steph on panels. But more importantly, like you said, you get to explore a bit first before you then go and invest or take a strategy or go down a particular route. So, A, you feel more confident, but B, you get around trusted people you can have conversations with. Um, And, you know, I am very lucky to be surrounded by some incredible women that have done amazing things that don't necessarily shout about it enough. And I think that's the key for me. So, you know, that's the and the cross networking between the different streams so that you can have a look at what might work for you where you're at right now. Um, And especially if you've got that sort of money, because, yeah, it should not be going on a mentorship like that. Yeah, they could have come to you and done five properties by now, couldn't they? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. And and Kylie, even more because what we're finding now is that people Mm -hmm. tend to pay, not pay for the refurbs now, the Kickstarters. But what I wanted to say was (laughs) another good thing about your community is people see people doing it and think, I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't yeah. even know you could do that. And here we are. Um, and there you are doing it. And again, that just says to people, do you know what? I can do that too. And so, yeah, as I say, link below or Iconic Wealth for Women Facebook group. So, Kylie, we're coming to the end of our time together. It's been <laughs> so good to have you on. We've only touched the mere surface of what you offer uh, in terms of wealth building and the mindset and the strategies and the community. So um, what would you like to leave people with as we close? Yeah, I think the key thing for me is um, just take the first step. So, you know, it's like you said, you can have all these ideas in the world or you can sit in the same situation you're in or you can decide to change it. I think that's the thing for me is, you know, I hear a lot of people talk about things um, and it is scary and, and it's a brave step to want to change your circumstances. But for me, the the first step in changing your wealth or your wealth journey is taking that first step, um, you know, deciding you're going to take control of it and go, I'm not going to leave it in the hands of someone else or I'm not going to hope for something to come along. I'm actually going to take that first step. Um, So I think that's the first thing for me is don't be scared to literally everyone started with one step. You know, whatever that was, wherever we were at, it started like mine was the na- going to the conference. That was my first step. I had to know that I wanted to do something different and I decided to do it. So I think owning it, taking responsibility for it is the big thing. Um, and then there, just be inspired, be inspired by these incredible women that can do it. They've done it. They've experienced it and you are no different to them. There's no pedestal. There's no this person is this guru and all those things we hear. Um, They're just normal people doing normal things. All they've done differently is taken the steps towards where they want to go. I think that's the key for me. Yeah. Oh, that that's phenomenal, Kylie. So I just want to because I know you're going to want more Kylie. Everybody does. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I just want to tell you, um, just remind mm. you of the steps where you can find more Kylie. So we've got Iconic Wealth Woman, the online community. And from the link near this video or, or in the podcast notes, you can join the Iconic Wealth for Women Facebook group or the full-fledged Iconic Wealth for Women community. Yeah. And I know it won't be £19 forever. No. Um, so that is a phenomenal thing to do right now. 
the next opportunity you have and that we didn't talk about so much was if you have knowledge inside you, you if you have had the idea, I know you have knowledge inside you, but if you have had the idea of an online course or program to share it, then do click the link below, which is Kylie's four steps to creating an online program. If you're driving, you need to stop the car, click <laughs> on your podcast note. You don't have an accident. <laughs> get through to renttorentsuccess.com slash one one and click through to get that four steps to creating an online program. Kylie is an incredible person to do this with. And uh, we get so many amazing reviews from our course and uh, it's all um through Kylie's help that we put it together. And then of course you can also find Kylie's help, uh, so, sorry, Kylie Anderson on LinkedIn. Yeah, that's where I hang out the most. Yeah. So um, go on Kylie. No, I was just gonna say wonderful, that's exciting. I look forward to connecting with many. Yes, um, so do connect, do follow up because it's great to listen to the podcast and I get so many phenomenal messages from you saying the episodes that you loved. Um, but also it's great to be able to take action, take a step to actually think that resonated with me. I want to create my vision. I want to look at where I am. I want to take the next steps in wealth creation. Um, and your simple next step here is to join that Facebook group or join the community. Or maybe if you've got an online course in you, click the link to get those four steps to creating your own online course. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Kylie Anderson, for being amazing <laughs> and for joining us here and sharing your wisdom. And if you want to get started in Rent to Rent, as I say every week, you can get the Rent to Rent Success Guide and Masterclass. If you're listening as this goes live, we're going into Christmas. Maybe you'll have a bit more time uh, on the sofa and uh, be able to watch the Masterclass. So that's at renttorentsuccess.com slash guide, G-U-I-D-E. Until next week, have a great rest of the week. And remember, believe bigger, be bolder, be a game changer. See you next week. Bye for now. Bye.